Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to cover the important skin lesions, primary, secondary and special skin lesions which all of you have to know to understand any type of disease which is being discussed in dermatology. Welcome myself Dr. Madhuri Shinvas and if you are new to this please do subscribe to this channel. So straight away we are going to discuss about the primary lesions so these are the lesions which will be seen initially over the skin and there are so many of these primary lesions which you have to remember so my advice would be try to remember them in groups in groups what I, what do i mean to say in groups so for example so this macule and patch combo which you are seeing on this slide like this there will be papule block nodule pustule abscess vesicles bullae so like this if you can remember all these lesions in pairs then it will be very easy for you to recollect all these names and uh, some yeah sometimes these were also asked in the theory exams as separate questions like for example in one of the examinations they have asked what is a macule and a papule the de definitions okay so to understand the macule and patch you should understand that these are flat lesions which are neither raised nor depressed and depending upon the size if the lesion is less than one centimeter we call it as a macule and if it is more than one centimeter we categorize them as patches so because they are neither raised nor depressed what is the possibility you are thinking of the skin lesions yes you are if you are thinking that they are hyperpigmented or hypopigmented you are absolutely correct so in the next image i am going to show you this is a macule these are all the macules which you are able to see which are less than one centimeter and this is a patch which you are able to see which is obviously more than one centimeter in size so this could be hyper yeah hy hypopigmented also next coming to the circumscribed solid raised lesions depending upon the size again they are papule block and a nodule so papule is going to be less than one centimeter block is going to be more than one centimeter in size and nodule is just like a you know it is more than one centimeter but the depth component is a additional point which we need to remember so nodules will be better palpated than seen better palpated than seen in the next picture if i show you will probably understand so all of you might have experienced or at least you have seen acne vulgaris in those patients there will be small small red colored bumps on the face these are called as the papules okay and what are the blocks so raised lesion which is more than one centimeter in size we call them as blocks coming to the nodule so here you are able to see this is one nodule which is more than one centimeter in size and you are able to see that but if you try to palpate it it will become more and more clearly visible and evident next are clear fluid filled lesions which are less than one centimeter in size are called as vesicles and more than one centimeter are called as a bullous lesions so here you are able to see this is a vesicle and this is a patient who is having the bullous lesions over the dorsum of the hand next is this pair which is consisting of pus so if the pinpoint size lesion is seen we call it as a pustule but if there is a large collection of the pus we are going to now call this as an abscess so this is a pustule and this is an abscess which you are able to see next is uh, you might have heard so many types of purpura idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura hanoxonline purpura so purpura so Petechia purpura ecchymosis come under the group where there is RBC extravasation and leading to the erythema of the skin. Erythema of the skin if the size of the lesion is 1 to 2 millimeter we are going to call them as petechial lesions. If the size is more than 3 millimeters up to 10 millimeters we are going to categorize them as purpura and if it is more than 10 millimeters or 1 centimeter we categorize them and as ecchymosis so here you are able to see these are the petechial lesions and this is a purpura and this is a ecchymosis this is a ecchymosis next is a uh, primary lesion which is called as a wheel and it is classically seen in a condition which is urticaria where there is going to be mast cell degranulation leading to histamine which is ultimately going to produce the wheel 
so wheel is a prime relation and it is going to be itchy in nature and we are going to see that this is a transient log it is uh, going to stay only for a period of less than 24 hours okay and it is going to have a central pallor as you are able to see here and there is going to be a peripheral erythema in the wheel so this is the actual question which was asked define macule and papule so this is a theory question so this video if it was helpful please do hit that like button okay do not forget to hit that like button if this video was helpful so let us continue our discussion with the secondary skin lesions so these are the lesions which will develop because of some modification like for example if the patient is a scratching the skin then the lesions which can develop they are described under secondary skin lesions and if there is a treatment given that can also alter the skin lesions which were previously present and both of these are categorized under the secondary skin lesions so the first one which you have to know is the scale so what is the scale it is a visible exfoliation of the stratum cornea which you are able to see and this classical picture is showing silvery white scales which is very 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 classically seen in the patients of psoriasis vulgaris okay next you are able to see this picture where you are able to see crusting crusting and this is a small child who is having non bullous impetigo that is impetigo contagiosa and this particular honey colored crust term is very important what does a crust mean it is basically serum pus or blood that is going to become dried up on the skin surface we are going to call it as a crust very simple and if you remember we have already discussed this in the previous videos as jas and tm stevens johnson syndrome toxic epidermal necrolysis in these patients there will be hemorrhagic crust which will be seen classically over the mucosa next we have the set which are erosion and ulceration so if there is a partial loss of the epidermis we call it as an erosion and if you remember we have seen this in the vesicular bullous disorders okay and uh, ulcer is a loss of the epidermis complete epidermis is lost and there is a partial or total loss of the dermis so ulcer you uh, you might have seen uh, there are so many types of ulcers okay arterial ulcer venous ulcer we are not going into the details of that fissure basically fissure is simple nothing but it's a deep cleft which we can see in the skin most likely you might have seen these uh, cracked heels okay these are the fissures and uh, i hope all of you do remember the anal fissures fissure in ano okay next is the scratch marks which will be seen over the body these are called as scientifically excoriation marks and these are basically the linear or punctate abrasions which are seen due to the scratching because of the itching next is a lichenification remember this is a combination of three changes happening in the skin the first change is going to be the hyperpigmentation of the skin second one is thickening of the skin will be seen and the final one is exaggeration of the skin markings and all these are happening because of the excessive itching which is leading to excessive scratching of the skin so this is basically a safety mechanism which the skin is going to show for the constant uh, chronic scratching next we are going to see the special lesions these are the lesions which are very characteristic of certain diseases like for example burrows comedones and target lesions so burrows are seen in the parasitic infestation due to scabies which is due to the sarcoptic scabi var hominis and here we are going to see some small small tunnels literally there will be serpiginous tunnel seen in the skin and particularly they are going to affect only the stratum corneum level so this is the scabetic mite which is you know making tunnels in the stratum corneum in the skin so next is the comedones we have discussed already in the acne vulgaris topic if you remember this is a special lesion which is formed due to the plugging of the keratin and sebum at the follicular level at the follicular level and i hope you remember acne vulgaris is a pilosebaceous unit disorder and there are two types of comedones open comedones and closed comedones so basically you can see here this is a picture showing you the open comedones which are also called as black heads which are black in color and these are called as closed comedones or these are also called as white heads these are also called as white heads 
Next is a target lesion or it is also called as bullseye lesion or iris lesion where there will be three zones. The in central zone is going to show redness or dusky hue. The intermediate zone is going to be pale in color and the peripheral zone of erythema can be seen. So, you are able to see this is the zone 1 which is dusky hue, zone 2 it is pale due to the edema and zone 3 again is it is erythema and this is classically classically seen in the patients of erythema multiforme if you remember we have also discussed erythema multiforme in previous videos i will leave the link for all the topics which i have discussed till this point in the chart section and also in the i card above in the description below so this uh, target lesions are classically seen in the palms and soles very very classical side and yeah like i have told you seen in erythema multiforme and i hope this video was helpful for all of you if it was helpful please do hit that like button and also do share this among your friends and try to discuss as you have finished this particular topic so that you are going to you know understand and remember this for a long time you can follow uh, the links of these books are there in the description you can check them out if you don't know of these books these are the books which uh, many students follow for reading the um, medicine and also dermatology theory okay if you want me to make a video on genital herpes simplex just type hsv in the comment section and i thank you so much for watching this video till this point um, if you have any doubts you can put in the comment section and yeah please do like this video so that i will understand that these videos are really really helpful okay and also do subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed to this channel and all the very best for your uh, future endeavors. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, happy, happy learning. Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanam Sarvejana Sukhna Bhavandu.